guys, welcome back to the second tutorial in the Google Sheets series. Um, in the last series, we, in the last tutorial rather, we um, we worked out how we can create a Google account and access Google Sheets and start with a blank spreadsheet. In this one, I'm just going to show you how very quickly how to save your document. Um, and from the last tutorial, you'll remember that when we created a Google account, we had access to all these cool apps here. Um, this one here is known as Google Drive, um, and this is an online storage place where you can keep all your Google Sheets, um, and they'll automatically save there. Um, so when we save this, um, it automatically saves to this place called Google Drive, and I'll show you where that is in just a moment. Um, so let's get into it. So to find your Google Drive, just search Google Drive. You, um, you can see I've just opened a new uh, tab a new web web browser tab and I've searched for Google Drive and you can see the first one here um, has popped up so it's going to click on that um, and you see here it says go to Google Drive um, so we'll click on that one and it's loading and you'll see here that this is a file system it's just like anything you'll see on an Apple or a Microsoft product um, you can see I've already created some folders, um, the day I last modified them there. You can see I've got my Interstocks folder, my study folder, and another random folder. Um, so just jumping back to this spreadsheet here, to add a title to this spreadsheet, you'll see up the top right hand corner, uh, left hand corner rather, uh, I'm going to title this spreadsheet that we're going to make, Owen's Tutorials. And I just type that in, and then I'll click somewhere else, and you can see here it says saving. It says all, all changes saved in Drive. And it says every change that you make is automatically saved in Drive. Last edit was a few seconds ago, whatever. So what it's automatically done is every time I make a change to the spreadsheet, it saves in my Google Drive. So let's go back to Google Drive and just have a look at where it's saved. So going it back into the other tab. Oh, and there it is. You can see there's my, there's my Google Sheets spreadsheet. Um, and it's titled Owen's Tutorials, it was saved by me, or I'm the owner, um, and it was last modified by me at 10.38. Um, and if I wanted to move that, let's say I wanted to move it into Interstocks, so all I need to do is left click and drag it into a different folder. Uh, you can see I could just drag and drop it in there, and it would automatically save. So every time I make a change, let's say I just put in my name, you can see after I put in my name it starts saving and it says all of it to drive. So it automatically updates. As long as your internet connection is active, you'll be able to save it. So that's how you can save and title your Google Sheets. Um, and it's very quick and easy and simple and it takes the legwork out of reminding yourself every few minutes once you've done some important number crunching to save it. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll get stuck into actually how you can start using and running functions in spreadsheets um, and understanding the cells.